Good morning. It's Jo from Emily Cat 176 and happy Easter to everyone. It's uh, Friday, Good Friday here. So once I have done this video, I'm actually going to go out for a walk because it's a beautiful day here today. It's going to be about 23, 24 and it's going to be quiet. It's going to be so quiet because everything's closed today. So uh, I wasn't going to post today, but I will. I'll do my book review because Florence Foster Jenkins, as you can see, I'm nearly about halfway through. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen the film. Interesting life. Very interesting life. I am up to uh, she has entered into a common law marriage with uh, St. Clair Bayfield. Um, I didn't know she eloped at 14. When you think about it, that is so young. <laughs> so young. And this is where she gets the Jenkins name from. She was Florence Foster. Uh, I didn't know that she was regarded as a very good pianist, that she was very involved in the music world of Philadelphia, and that she arrived and started living in New York when she was 40. So, yes, it seems to be that everything that's happened after that she was 40 before any of it started so that that's interesting so i am enjoying it um i said i will i'll read a bit more over the weekend um it's worth a read as i said interesting life and it's interesting because i always assumed she was always rich and yes there was money but um, her father was wealthy and when he died there was real skullduggery and I love that word, it's a good word, skullduggery regarding his will um, now she, uh, Florence thought she would be cut out because she had eloped so young but there were codicils missing the will was missing and then there were fake wills and fighting relatives and oh and this happened after Florence died herself and I mean you yourself would know this happens in families someone dies and then suddenly all these relatives who you've never heard of or never seen come out of the woodwork and they're just milling around you know trying to get money so yeah I'm up to the chapter Club Woman and again it's a good book because it gives you some history of New York in the early 1900s and apparently there were quite a lot of female clubs that got up and um, started in in the early 1900s uh, yeah it's, it's it is interesting very interesting Euterpa Euterpa, I think is one of the clubs. I don't know if it's still, it's still going. There was a Mozart Society. That's in 1911. Um, yeah, it, it, interesting. It is interesting. And I will finish it because I find it so interesting. And um, as I said, I've said to you last time, I'm not a great lover of bio uh, biographies, but this one is good because of the life she's led. And it's interesting that she was good at the piano, but then she, her singing voice was not good. And it got me thinking, we've all seen the ones with uh, the talent shows, you know, that are on TV, the, what were they called? Um, well, we had Australian Idol, I think you had American Idol, and all those ones. And the number of people that came through who thought they were really good singers, and they weren't. And I have seen some videos where they get, some of them got really quite 
snarky about it. You know, they truly believed, as Florence did, that sh she was a good singer. And she wasn't. And some people thought, actually, that it was a comedy show. And laughed at her and behind her back, but to her face they were so sweet and, you know, which I think is wrong too. So, yeah, this is where I'm up to. As I said, she's met uh, St. Clair. Um, was his name, first name St. Clair? Uh, let me have a look. Yeah, I think it was St. Clair. She called him Bunny or he called her Bunny. Yes, his, his name was St. Clair because he was a, like a jobbing actor, I think they're called. And um, he, he had some success as well. But, I mean, they were together for over 30 years. So it was an important relationship. But um, I'm hoping to finish that this one this week. And then, as I said, I've got um, How to Stop Time. That's a book I'm going to read by Matt Haig. And I read about another one this morning. A Gentleman in Moscow. Now there's something coming out apparently on Disney Plus. Ewan McGregor I think is in the TV adaptation. But I looked, I don't have Disney Plus. I had a look at the novel and the novel looks quite interesting. So I'm going to download that on my Kindle this afternoon. So yeah, there's books, books and more books. But I've got to read this one first, don't I? I have to finish what I'm reading. And I will finish it because, as I said, I think the really interesting stuff comes up now. Because it was really interesting this week. Because I've said to you, I'm learning the piano. And I work at a place where these classes run through the week. And one of them is a jazz choral society. Now, the... We call them tutors, the ones that lead them. The tutor there, I was telling her how I'm learning the piano. Very beginning, very, very beginning. And she suggested that I go along to the jazz choral. And I said, I cannot sing in tune. I've got a terrible singing voice. And she said, everyone can sing. And I'm thinking, I don't know if I believe that because no one no one wants to hear me sing. I'm that bad. So I think I will pass on that kind invitation um, cause, because she insisted. She said, oh, I had ones at the start of the year that were out of tune and then they weren't at the end. And I'm thinking, I know it's all to do with help, breathing helps and whether you're breathing from your diaphragm and all that sort of thing. But you've got to have pitch and you've got to have tone and I don't have any of that. So I will continue to be a patron. I hope I improve on the um, piano. But again, even with that, I'm not planning <laughs> I'm not planning on doing performances. This is just for my my pleasure, you know. So yes, as I said, I will. I think the re really interesting stuff comes up now, um, but it's been interesting so far. And I just thought she's a historical figure, but we still have ones today that are like this, that think they are wonderful singers, and they think they're going to be famous, and they're not. They're just not and they won't accept it you know so it's interesting very interesting so that's it for books on Friday as I said it is Friday here I know it's not uh, Australia so far ahead with the, the rest of the world I don't even know if other countries are having Easter now um, so for those that are happy Easter Hope you get lots of chocolate eggs and such things. And I will see you on Monday. I'm off to see a film this weekend, which looks good too. So I will talk about that on Monday. Okay, bye.